Welcome back to my channel, At Home with Willowberry. Or if you're new, welcome. But where have you been? I'm so happy to see you here. My name is Valerie, and in today's video, we're continuing the renovations on our 1975 double wide mobile home, and I make a delicious honey garlic glazed chicken dinner. So if you're interested, I hope you'll stick around and enjoy the video. Tim has been working very hard trying to fix the drywall fiasco that we got ourselves into. We hired a company to install the drywall in three bedrooms for us, thinking that we would be able to save a lot of time by having someone else do the work for us. Well, unfortunately, they did a less than stellar job, and it has set us back by at least a month because Tim has had to do a lot of finishing work in order to get the walls ready to paint. Today, Tim is working in our youngest son's room. He found a screw that was sticking out of the drywall, and as it turns out, the screw had completely missed the rafter, which means the drywall was not even attached in that section above the door. So Tim is having to locate the 2x4 so that he can properly secure the ceiling to the studs. Then he's going to add mud to the wall and ceiling to fill in the gap. Tim has found errors like this in all three bedrooms. Needless to say, we were very disappointed in the work that we paid for, but hey, what can we do? Thankfully, Tim knows how to fix the problem. But at least we can finally see the finish line. Tim believes that after today, we'll be ready to paint this bedroom as well as our oldest son's room. And it will be just in time to have the vinyl plank flooring installed sometime in March. We've ordered the flooring, we have the paint, and not to mention I've already ordered everything to decorate the rooms with because April will be one year since we started renovating this home and it's my goal to have completed the first phase of renovations before the one year deadline is up. Okay y'all, I'm just rambling on about a whole bunch of nothing, but I said all that just to let you know that we're very sorry if it feels like we keep showing the same thing week after week with not much results, but right now this is our reality. But it won't be long before we have three finished bedrooms to share with you all, and I can't wait. Alright y'all, enough rambling for now. Let's just get into the video. Thank you. 
by the way, I wanted to wish you all a very happy Valentine's Day. And not to mention, it's also my birthday. And I'm a very happy girl because I'm finally getting my SUV back today. It's been in the body shop ever since we got hit by that second deer back in January. It wasn't supposed to be ready until March, but the work was finished just in time for my birthday. It would be nice to get it back because it's the only vehicle that we have that will fit all six of us, which means we won't have to take two cars when we go out for my birthday dinner. Tim is taking us to the Japanese steakhouse tonight, which is my favorite place to go eat. I love when the chefs put on a show while preparing the food right in front of us. It's a good time, and not to mention, the restaurant gives you a free chicken dinner on your birthday. I know it's going to be super busy because it's Valentine's Day, but hey, I want my free birthday dinner. I'm curious, how do you celebrate Valentine's Day? Do you have a favorite restaurant? Let me know down below.
is so meticulous and always makes sure the work is done just right. I tell you what, I don't know what I would do without him. He makes my heart so happy. He makes me laugh all the time, and he always has a way of making me feel better when I feel down. I couldn't imagine anyone else I'd want to spend Valentine's Day with. I had the best Valentine in the whole world. I love you, Tim. Thank you so much for working so hard to turn this old trailer into our forever home. All right, enough of all that. The boys will be home from school soon, which means it's almost dinner time. Tonight, I'm making honey garlic glazed chicken breast. So while Tim finishes the work here in this bedroom, I'm going to go get ready to make dinner. tell you what, I get tired of making the same old tired meals all the time, so I'm always on the lookout for new recipes. I don't really come up with my own recipes, but I've gotten pretty good at following recipes as long as they're easy. And tonight I found a really easy recipe. I didn't even have to go out and buy anything special. I had everything in my pantry to make the honey garlic glazed chicken, and I bet you do too. I would call this a pantry meal, and it's one I'll definitely be making again. I'm also going to be making sautéed veggies with squash, zucchini, and sweet onions, as well as basmati rice to go with the glazed chicken. So if you're ready, let's get to cooking. To get started, I'm going to slice the veggies up, and then I'll cut the chicken in half to create chicken cutlets. Alright, let's get to work.
I'm ready to start sauteing the veggies. I'm going to saute the veggies in a little olive oil with salt and pepper on a medium heat. For the chicken, I'll just season it with a little salt and garlic powder, and then I'll dust the cutlets with all-purpose flour, which I seasoned with garlic powder, salt, and pepper. According to the recipe, the flour coating is what will help the glaze stick to the chicken cutlets better. Once the chicken is coated with the seasoned flour, I'll then saute them in a pan with olive oil and butter until they are cooked through. Like I mentioned, this is a super simple recipe with only a few steps, so dinner will be on the table in under 30 minutes, which is a record for me. I sure hope I didn't confuse y'all earlier when I was talking about Valentine's Day. This video was filmed a couple of days ago, but I'm editing the video on Valentine's Day, so that's why I was talking about going out for dinner to the Japanese steakhouse. I don't know why I feel the need to clear that up, but one minute I'm talking about going out for dinner, and then all of a sudden I'm cooking dinner, so I thought it might be a little confusing. Anyway, I sure hope that makes sense. Alright, well let's get back to the video. Would you look at that sweet Milo? I tell you what, we have no idea where that cat stand came from. Neither Tim or I ordered it. It just showed up on the front porch with a ton of other boxes from Amazon one day. But we love it. Milo's not too sure about it, but I'm sure he'll get used to it. All right, well, dinner is coming right along, y'all. Just a few more minutes and then the chicken will be cooked through and then I'll be ready to make the glaze.
All right, dinner is almost ready, y'all. The chicken is cooked through, so now I'm going to make the honey garlic glaze. I'm going to add some butter to the pan, along with some soy sauce, apple cider vinegar, honey, and minced garlic, as well as salt and pepper. Once the glaze is made, I'll then add the chicken back to the pan to coat it with the glaze, and then dinner will be ready. The honey garlic glaze smells amazing, and the smells are bringing the boys into the kitchen looking for dinner. I just want to let the chicken soak up the glaze a little bit before serving them. This really was one of the easiest dinners I've made in a long time. Quick, easy, and delicious. The boys loved it. In fact, I got the best compliment from my oldest son, and he can't wait for me to make it again.
All right, y'all, dinner is ready. I'm gonna go ahead and get dinner served up and then call it a night. Hopefully in our next video, we'll be painting the walls in the boys' bedrooms. I'm excited to get some color up on the walls. Well, at least in my youngest son's room, my oldest son wants white walls. Who knew there were so many shades of white to choose from? It was actually a little overwhelming picking one, but we'll save that for another video. Well, y'all, I really hope you enjoyed the video, and I wish you all a very happy Valentine's Day. Take care, and I'll see you real soon. I'll talk to you later. Bye, y'all.